But we're going to do the zodiac sign Scorpio. And this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. It could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what does not. We have Seven of Pentacles and then the Fool card is here. So this could be someone that's going towards a whole other direction because they want to invest in something. Um, they want to invest in something. Elsewhere. Ten of Cups is here. This person wants to invest in... Um, building a family with someone this could be someone that's coming towards you they want to invest in building um a happy family life with you this person look at you as their ultimate happiness three of wands is here it's like this person have made a final decision and then nine of cups they've been wishing and um Praying, they could. This person could have literally been wishing and praying that um, they could come towards you, or this person have been watching you as wish fulfillment. You make this person happy. They've made a final decision. They want ultimate happiness with you. Ace of Wands is here. So this person plans on taking action towards you. They want to have a new beginning with you. This person wants to start over, fresh. Ten of Pentacles is here. So it's like this person wants the Ten of Cups with you and they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. This person wants to build a wealthy family life with you and a happy family life with you. Tower is here. This person went through some type of drastic change. Yeah, and then Temperance is here. They went through a drastic change and it caused this person to balance their self out. They went through some type of epiphany or something like that. Realization of them needing to go towards a whole other direction. To have this new beginning. And it's like this person is coming towards you. You could be someone that have been investing in yourself and um, you're at this nine of cups, happy, wish fulfillment. You could be sitting in this ten of pentacles or building um, generational wealth for yourself. You're someone that works very hard. Eight of pentacles is here. And it's like you've been working by yourself, working on whatever it is that you want for your future. Yeah, you're someone that's very strong. The strength card is here. You do a lot on your own and you work hard. Yeah, the hair fine is here. You're someone that is, you know, like a hair fine, very inspirational, inspiring. A lot of people look up to you and um, a lot of people respect you. A lot of people trust you. Two of Wands is here. And then Queen of Wands is here. And then the sun card is here. And then ace of cups. So yeah, this person, whoever this person is that's coming towards you, this person, um, you make this person happy. They look at you as their ultimate happiness. Um, they've been at a stalemate. This person is highly attracted to you. They're admired by you. You're someone that, um, very confident. 
and you're someone that loves yourself, you respect yourself, you take care of yourself, and this is how this person is viewing you. This person could be at a stalemate because you're someone that is um, with the sun card, queen of wands, ace of cups. You're, you, you're, you could be attracting a lot of attention. And then judgment is here. So this person could have been at a stalemate because they were under judgment. Six of Wands and Eight of Swords. This person could have, um, they were attached to somebody that, um, this is someone that could be like narcissistic and they wanted this person to feel stuck. And this could have been why this person was at a stalemate. They were attached to someone that was a very narcissistic. And they were trying to keep that person blocked off. A lot of stuff could have been backfiring onto that person as they were attached to whoever that energy is. That was trying to have them at the Eight of Swords stuck. They could have, you know, wanted to keep that person stuck because they looked at that person as someone that would be successful or have victory and success. But as they were attached to that person, they were experiencing these blockages. If they, if this is someone who knew that this person would be successful, ooh, excuse me, they would build the generational wealth. They would, uh, you know, have the ten of pentacles, different things like that. This person um, did not know as long as they tried to keep that person attached to them or stuck or that, you know. Wanting that person to be uh, stuck to them and thinking that they were going to have victory and success, everything will backfire. This is someone that was blocking this person off from them having victory and success. They were creating the blockages so this person would not go towards a whole other direction. That's why everything kept backfiring and they were under judgment and just at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. This I'm also getting this person could have did something to try to, you know, have victory and success to be seen in certain lights that's not their own. And they ended up getting stuck. Something backfired. And they're under judgment. Four of Wands is here. And then Page of Pentacles is here. So this is someone who knew, knew some information, like, about you and this person, um... Coming together, coming in union, building a relationship. They could have knew that you and this person were twins and you and this person had a purpose. You and this person was supposed to be um, having victory and success together. They knew this information and they wanted that person to be stuck. They figure if they do something to have this person stuck, they will be at the six of wands. Oh, Wow. I don't want to think that way, but I don't know why I'm hearing that or getting that. A sacrifice. So they could have sacrificed this person. Yeah, and that person was feeling stuck. They were at a stalemate, you know, just waiting, not knowing which direction to take. And they didn't know that this person tried to do something to try to bind them. And then they would walk off at the Six of Wands having victory and success. It's like they literally could have tried to sacrifice this person and it backfired. King of Cups is here. And then Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, it's like whatever they did, this part, whoever this King of Cups is, it just weighed this person down, burdened them. And they could have been feeling so stuck where they couldn't move. They wanted that person to be weighed down, you know, and bur like baggage, a lot of baggage on them. But I'm also getting whoever this King of Cups is, they're weighed down in their emotions. The musician is here. Two of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person was weighed down with someone that they were not supposed to be partnering up with. This person could have tricked them into some, to some type of partnership. Whoever they were attached to was someone that was very tricky. And um, 
it just weighed that person down burdened that person because this is somebody that they were not supposed to partner up with work with or something like that yeah this was a distraction knight of pentacles is here to slow this person down that's why this person was under judgment and at a stalemate watching you attract a lot of attention watching you in this hair fine energy and just watching you work hard you know focusing on yourself minding your business and they were with someone that tricked them in some type of partnership that they weren't supposed to be in. And it slowed this person down. It weighed this person down as well. Yeah, Queen of Swords and then the Will of Fortune. This is somebody that they were supposed to cut off. This person is not attached to their um, Will of Fortune. Or their, you know, their purpose, their destiny, any of that. This was somebody that they needed to cut off in order to have their destiny and their purpose or good luck and abundance. Because this was a distraction. And this could have been a family member. It could have been a friend. It could have been um, an associate. Anybody that they were in any type of situation with. This could have been a relationship. And um, this person is not attached. King of Swords on the bottom of the deck and then Queen of Swords. They're not attached to that person's uh, destiny and their purpose. And it's like they needed to cut that person off. Them being in this King of Cups energy weighed them down. They could have been the type of person that were, you know, being too kind hearted, too loving and caring to the wrong person or the wrong people. And it weighed that person down. And they will end up in a Two of Cups, you know, unrequited type of partnership. And just feeling slowed down. Nine of Pentacles is here. And then the Emperor. Six of Cups. So this person wants to come back towards you, Six of Cups. Yeah, you could also be in a Queen of Swords energy and you're walking in your destiny and in your purpose. You're someone that's very intelligent. You speak the truth. You cut off things that no longer serve purpose in your life and you're walking in this Wheel of Fortune energy. It's like you worked hard to get where you are. Yeah, you're someone that's very stable. You're someone that's very self-sufficient and um, successful. Nine of Pentacles and um, the Emperor is here. Six of Cups. This person wants to come back towards you. Yeah. This was, it, it was a lot of sneaky and deception going on behind the scenes Uh. A lot of conflict, chaos, drama, fights, arguments. It's like whoever this person is that they cut off or they needed to cut off, this person could have secretly been, you know, behind the scenes competing with you or trying to create some type of chaos and havoc for you to try to one up you. This person could have thought that they would, you know, do something to set you up. Um lie on you or something like that to try to get this person to one up you because this person have a destiny and a purpose with you so this person wanted to come at you secretly because this person cut them off yeah because this person is in love with you queen of cups is here And then Queen of Pentacles is here. You're someone that's very stable. You're someone that's very abundant. And it's like you're a boss. Whoever this energy is, they feel rejected. They're intimidated by you. Four of Cups. Whatever they were doing was rejected. Yeah. Whatever they were doing was rejected. And they're insecure. Yeah, and they feel stuck. The hangman is here. This person sacrificed their self. If they were trying to sacrifice that person to have victory and success, they sacrificed their self. The hangman is here. And they're feeling stuck. Knight of Cups is here. And then the star card is here. Yeah, it's like this person wants to connect with you after healing and cleansing their self. This person could want to connect with you because they know that you're their twin. You're chosen to be with that person. 
And this energy just did a lot of stuff to keep their self in the hangman energy. Page of Wands is here. And then the Hermit in the reverse. This person could have been in Hermit mode and they're coming up out of Hermit mode and they want to communicate with you. This person does not want to be in isolation or away from you anymore. They want to communicate. Eight of Cups is here. You could have walked away from the situation and you just focus on yourself. With this Eight of Cups being here. And you did not look back. Three of Cups is here. And then Two of Pentacles. So it's like this person is going back and forth in their head trying to figure out how can they connect with you. How can they reconcile with you? Because you had an Eight of Cups. It's like you walked away from this situation. Yeah, Page of Swords and then the Chariot is here. It's like this person have watched you move forward in life. And you could have moved forward after gaining truth and clarity and just decided to work by yourself or work on yourself. Keep yourself balanced and grounded out. Yeah, and you're someone that's very strong, inspirational. You're attracting a lot of attention. And this person is trying to figure out how can they reconcile with you after you've walked away, Eight of Cups. Knight of Swords is here. And then Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person was pissed off when they found out the truth. Yeah, Knight of Swords and Ace of Swords. They were upset when they gained truth and clarity. And it's like by the time they gained truth and clarity, you had already walked away. You hadn't already moved forward. The chariot is here. And this person had been watching you. Page of Swords. Six of Swords is here. Yeah, you were divinely guided to sail away by your ancestors. Yeah, it's like this person is seeing you like they look at you as someone that's moving away. You could have moved away or you just sailed away from things that no longer serve purpose in your life. Your ancestors guided you away from this situation. This person possibly was not woke. And it's like once they found out the truth, they were upset. This other person is upset because this person found out the truth as well. They've gained truth and clarity. And then three of swords is here. And then the uh, um, high priestess. This person could be hiding that they're heartbroken because you had an, um, got on a chariot and moved forward and you walked away. Yeah, because they look at you as their equal. Six of Pentacles is here. And then the King of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, Eight of Wands is here. They want to come toward you. And then four swords is here. Yeah, they want to come toward you, but this person needed to isolate their self from whoever this person is that they were in a karmic cycle with the devil and four swords. Yeah, they needed to distance their self. King of swords is here. In order to, you know, walk into this new beginning, this new contract, Ace of Pentacles. Because they were in a toxic karmic cycle, a karmic contract with this person. Or different people, take it where it resonates. And it was keeping this person stressed out at the Nine of Swords. Keeping this person in their head. Keeping this person feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, from their own Ten of Pentacles. Because they were attached to people that were vibing low. Yeah, but they were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. These are people that wanted this person to be blinded from the truth. They wanted that person to be blinded to the fact that they were playing with stuff they know nothing about. If they tried to sacrifice this person or try to play some type of binding magic on this person because they felt like this person would have victory and success. This person was taking losses as they were attached to different people that they were in a karmic cycle with and feeling left out in the cold of their own ten of pentacles and just sitting back watching you move forward. 